incredible in so many things that you do, and this is really no exception. You are unrecognizable <laughs> physically. You. Yeah. I, I mean, you look at you, I don't know who was like, oh yeah, Laura Benanti, she can play Amy Schumer's mother. You look, <laughs> how, how did Amy, you do it? I mean, Amy and I did a play on Broadway together called Meteor Shower mm -hmm. that Steve Martin wrote. Of course. And, oh. and we became. <laughs> Sorry, Steve Martin. <laughs> I know, same, same. That was me every day in rehearsal, just like. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we did, we became friends that way. And then I, she just saw, I think, a quality in me where she felt like you can do this and we'll figure it out. We'll put a wig on you. We'll give you prosthetics, at least in the first episode where I'm, you know, an older woman. Mm -hmm. And then all of the other the subsequent episodes, I'm in flashback. But yeah, she, she saw, you just need a person to be like, I see you. And then yeah. you're good. Was yeah, she, so uh, true. right? What is Amy Schumer like as a director? She's incredible. She's able to be like, okay, this is how you hear something best. This is how you hear something best. And then she just frames it in such a way that you feel like you came up with it yourself. <laughs> well, this show is gaining so much steam. Uh -huh. And for all the right reasons, it is incredibly introspective. It is beautiful. It is haunting. And it's just fantastically acted. It's so good. Yay, I'm so glad you like it. So good. Thank you. I'm so glad you like it. Um, well, we're here at the desk, Laura. Yeah. You want to hit some headlines? I really do. ITV News reports Portland, Oregon just got its first sports bar for women. Wow. Yes. yes. <laughs> I love it so much. Uh, I love the name of the bar. Me too. Right. It's called the Sports Bra. <laughs> a genius name thought up by owner Jenny Wynn, a former college basketball player herself. The walls are decked out with the jerseys of incredible female athletes. The bar menu is sourced from women-owned businesses. And on the TVs, only women's sports. Wow. Only women. So cool. I love it. The sports bra might be the first women's sports bar on the planet. I want to go there now. I'm right? glad yes. to know it exists. Yeah. It makes me happy. It's just so fantastic. Yeah. I know it's going to be a success because I heard about it and thought, that doesn't already exist. I know. And when you can lock into something that, duh, should be a thing, that's when it takes over the world. So watch out. Uh, uh, the sports bra is coming to a town near you. Yeah. Bet. Yep, right? I bet. Yeah, I hope so. Hashtag franchise. Exactly. You. Exactly. Well, up next, what about this story? Uh, a very important subject, everybody. What is your pet's name and what does it say about you? Study finds reports people are judging you for your pet's name. Really? A new survey found six out of ten uh -oh. people say they'll actually judge you for what you name your pet. <laughs> and I kind of get this because if I meet you and you're like, oh, this is my cat Fluffy, I'm like, I roll next. Okay, right. good to know. Your pet, I think I'm, I'm one of the people that judge. Your pet's <sighs> name should be interesting, don't you think? Well, my pet's names are, they're two little rescues and um, Petey Pie and Lily. Oh, that's my daughter. She, that's my daughter, Ella, and my oh. super amazing husband, Patrick. He's, he holds Petey Pie like a baby oh because God. she had she had to have surgery when we got her. She was so abused. They both oh. were. And we really, like, nursed them back to health, especially my husband. So oh Petey Pie and Lily Rose. Where does Petey Pie come from? So Bernadette Peters. Yeah, uh -huh. you know, a great an icon. Bernadette like an, Peters. Yes, she works with so many shelters. And she recommended One Love for Animals, which is the organization that, that we went to to Petey rescue Pie, Petey Pie. Pie. So Petey Pie. Aww. So she was named Sweetie Pie when we first got her. And I was like, Petey Pie for Bernadette Peters. That's perfect. So cute. Yeah. Ross, See? what are your dog's names again? So, well, I have, I have, have three. I have three <laughs> rescues. There they Yay. are. Look. So the closest oh one is Audrey for like Audrey Hepburn because oh, yes. she has bold eyebrows. She and does. The second one is Selena after Selena, the singer, Bitty Bitty Bum Bum. Oh, yeah. Because she's curvy. And um, <laughs> then Pa Earl in the back is named after my great grandpa because I adopted him at 12. And that was like the oldest name I could think of. Wait, pa I Earl. love that. And you have, what are your dogs <laughs> named? Douglas? Douglas and Lucy. Cute Aww, names. That's names. Douglas on the right. And that's Lucy on the left. Oh. All right, so start judging everyone. <laughs> um, Laura Benanti, you are so amazing. Life and Beth is no exception. It's on Hulu right now. Everybody's talking about it for a very good reason. Please watch it. It is phenomenal.